Yes, yes, yes. Pretty perfect and on point. I'm walking up out of here. Don't ask me for a receipt. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Wiggy Wednesday. Yes, almost Friday. So for today's video, I'm giving you guys a first impression on a unit that was sent to me by Outray. But before we get into all the specs of this unit and what I think about it, share out the pack. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so I'm super excited about today's video because it is sponsored by Outray. They were kind enough to send me over their new big beautiful hair for a sizzle spiral unit. This is a half wig and she does retail on different sites between 16 and 20 dollars not including shipping so make sure you shop around for that i must know i love y'all okay you you must know i love you because i came on camera no wig cap no wig grip just natural hair flourishing okay just out <laughs> out and about hey and i did that because i don't feature a lot of natural hairstyles on my channel just because we always trying to find the next big bundle let's just say what it is so when it comes down to natural hairstyles that's what i kind of wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I was super excited when Outra reached out to me to try this unit because I just, I like having my everyday units. So let's go ahead and open that really quick. Get out. Okay, so this is what her card looks like and they went back to the drawing board because you know Big Beautiful Hair is not a new brand for Outre. Um, They have some other ones out that I already tried like the 4A Kinky style. That's one of my jams, I still rock her. However, this is the new half wig cap. So the new cap is supposed to lay flatter than the old cap, giving you a more natural look and requires less leave out. So, you know, we all trying to save our edges. All 2019, y'all know we've been talking about it all year, okay? But I will say the way that I style my half wigs, normally I like to leave out a little bit of hair to make it blend down a little bit better for my taste and um that's how we're gonna be moving got her in the color 1b slash 30 um i want to try a little color for you know for fall just give it a little spice mm -hmm. so this is how she is looking out the pack i love the color of this these curls are a lot tighter than the 4a kinky style that i reviewed on this channel so that's why i wanted to try this one because they're a little smaller and tighter so you know that's cute we'll see how she looks once i you know shape her and stuff like that so for today's video i'm actually going to be styling this unit in three different Different ways that's six <laughs> Three different styling options on how you can wear this wig um, and you know make it do what it do you know style on them serve these people my hair like I told you is tight it's a 4c kinky curly to the scalp type of um, hair texture so I need to go in and cool blow dry the front of this so let me go ahead and prep the front of my hair and then we're gonna go ahead and get started let's go okay so let me show you guys the cap construction really quick so this is how that cap construction is looking you know normally we have that big comb going across the front here um, so they took out the comb and they gave you two smaller combs on the side the cap construction near the front of the cap is a lot thinner and a lot flatter because of that comb not being there so kudos to them on that and then you also get the comb in the back with the adjustable straps the unit is stretchable so you know if you have a big head like me you should be able to stretch this out if it doesn't fit um, but normally with half wigs they fit just fine because it's a half wig it doesn't have to take up the entire span of your head and I do have on my wig grip I wear it for anything Thing that needs to be held in place so right now she's not blending okay she's not blending so relax relax okay so I brought out my edge booster and I'm gonna be using that today I just bought it yesterday this is the pomegranate one I think it's a strong this is citrus scent so smells delicious styles are meant to be super beginner friendly and easy to do for anyone okay so don't overthink it okay you can't mess it up I promise this is my first time using the edge booster so I'm hoping that she makes me proud oh slick down baby slick down okay Just making sure my edges are how I want them to be laid. I got my bobby pins on deck. Oops. And we just gonna pin this bad boy up like so. I wanna make sure this is all pinned how I want it. I wanna pin this one up. Obviously my hair is still like that. So I'm gonna bring this hair forward. I can't see my, find my wide suit comb, so I'm just gonna take any comb that I have in front of me, which is, happens to be my rat tail, and just comb this through to make it a little bit bigger. Uh-oh, I pulled something out. Dang it, dang it, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. 
That's why I need my other comb. Where's my daggone other comb? You brush it until I get the look that I want. We almost there. And then I'm just gonna take a bobby pin here and put her in this bang area. And there is style number one. Like, y'all see that? Cute, okay? I didn't have to cut this. It's already like shaped perfectly. So, boom. <laughs> you can spice her up like a little clip or something like that. She ready for work, okay? Work, church, happy hour. This style can go with you everywhere, all right? Yes, I'm here for this one. You could definitely go in with a little headband like this. I mean, a little bit longer, but you get, you get the point. What had happened was, I snatched this wig to life, okay? Mm. That what looks, and then you turn to the back. Side, 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 slip and slide. That's the way we wanna rock. Oh, that's where it, I don't know. But that's how she looking, okay? And she's still bouncy, full of life, still natural, okay? Let's move on to number two. Okay, so I did remove it just so I can make sure that the front is how I want it. And we're gonna part this on the sides here. We're gonna put this one in a ponytail. I'm just gonna slick that behind my wig grip. I'm gonna plop her back on again. We're only gonna use a little teensy bit of here. We're gonna bobby pin that little wrap around right there. We're just gonna bobby pin this little pieces here in the front. Just kinda have that come down a little bit. That front is covered, but y'all see how flat that is? Gonna jazz her up just a bit, add some little hoops up here in the front. Let me just make sure my edges are right how I want them. And there is number two. Y'all see how quick that was? That's a look, okay? That's a look. The little hair jewels amp it up a little bit. And there you go, okay? There you go. Simple and to the point. Thank you, Outre. Snap, snap. Snap, snap. Is how that's looking up close and personal. Can I touch your hair? No, Brenda, you cannot. Okay, and for the last one. Just gonna put a little cornrow in mine. Okay, I'll put that like that. Just gonna twist this around that braid. I'm just gonna pin that like that. I need a rubber band, not too tight, just two times is fine. Okay, do the same with this one. Twist and twist and twist and twist. A little messy, b little bun. I'm going to take my braid that I made. I'm going to stick one over here. And then Bobby, this one, to this side. So I'm going to tuck that under the wig over there. I'm going to take these little hair jewels and just stick them in front of the bun. I didn't even add any more edge booster. It's been, I've been using the same little residual that's been in there. And there you have style number three. Super easy, super fun, you guys. Like, okay, like, on point, okay, on point. So you can do an upside with these units as well because of how the backing is. Um, just made like any other synthetic unit, but because it's like a natural curly type of unit, you can, fake that out to make it look like, you know, your hair or whatever, so. Come on, Shaka, come on, Shaka. Um, I will say, I did get some shedding with this hair. I think it's because I was brushing it maybe and maybe snapped some hair off. So just be mindful of that. Use the correct tools to, you know, tease out your hair. Now, I didn't tell you guys, but this unit is heat safe up to 400 degrees. So if you want to put some heat to it or change up anything, you can. I definitely need to go grocery shopping today. So I definitely will be rocking this to Walmart. I'm gonna slay out one through 12 and then go stunt in the milk section like I ain't lactose intolerant. I look this good, I don't care, I don't care. These type of units are meant to be used on a daily basis because you can do a lot of different Different styles of them as you can see if you want to leave your hair out like I did you can you do not have to it is all personal choice and um 
that's how she rocking. Natural hair on deck. Natural hair is beautiful as well. Thank you, Outre, for continuously making these big, beautiful hair units. I love them a lot. The hair texture is soft. Um, I will say eventually it will tangle and mat, but the more frizzy this hair gets, the more natural it looks. Yes, yes, yes. Pretty perfect and on point. You hear me? Make these units work for you, okay? Make it do what it do on a budget sleigh all up and down Walmart Street. You hear me? What receipt? I'm walking up out of here. Don't ask me for a receipt. That's how we rolling today. And um, shout out to Outre for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. If you guys wanna check this unit out, I will drop some links down below of where you can purchase this unit. Again, purchase the unit wherever you see fit. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.